This is exactly the weather I love in a winter. It was minus 11 going out to the truck today. Sun's out, it's gonna be blue skies. The snow's gonna be nice, crunchy and cold, but it's still a grind. It's days like this where you gotta really understand your why, your purpose, your goal. Man, the snow is great, but it is cold. I'm running up a canyon and it's early enough where there's, there's no sunshine yet. The sunshine's way up there, way over there. I gotta get up higher before I get warm. Ah, the sun. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it was cold coming. Had a little breeze coming up the climb that made it just really cold and it still feels a little humid, but got a little bobcat track going up. You can kind of, you can just kind of see how he's came right down the trail. Probably early, earlier this morning. It's hard to talk when it's this cold. And the face is still a little frozen, but we're gonna carry on. And here, you can see how little snow we still have. It's probably one of the leanest snow years I can remember in Jackson Hole. It's days like this where we really have to have a why. We really have to have a mission and a purpose to get out the door because our brain is gonna play tricks on us. And that's our opportunity to train the brain. The brain's an organ, but it acts like a muscle and we can train it just like we can train our legs, just like we can train our cardiovascular system. As soon as we can understand that our thoughts are just thoughts, they're not a truth or a belief, everything becomes easier. Just like now the sun's out, I can take my mittens off, everything's become easier because the sun's out. We gotta view our thinking, what our brain is telling us, as they're just thoughts, nothing more. It's human nature to wanna know what's gonna happen and making that goal for the year. Hey, we wanna know what's gonna happen before we register for that race. All our mind is gonna keep us safe and make us wonder and make us fearful of what might happen. We wanna know before it's gonna take place. And that's impossible. It's impossible to know what's gonna happen. And that's where our brain and our thinking is trying to keep us safe from. And as soon as we can see that, the sun's gonna come out. Everything's going to ease up. Everything's going to start to flow. So as we approach this new year, start to train the brain. Start to see the brain as a muscle that we can train and mold it in the way we want it to work for us. And that starts with observing your thoughts and realizing your thoughts are no more, no different, no bigger than just thoughts. We tend to believe them. The older we get, the more, the more we've been thinking, right? Okay, the more the brain is trying to keep us safe from our fears. So start to see your thinking as a manifestation of your fears, and that can stop. As soon as we become aware of our thoughts, they stop. That's what's called living in the present. So practice through January just becoming aware of your thoughts while you're running. And notice how those thoughts are really filled, filled yeah, still hard to talk even though the sun's out. 
realize those thoughts are filled with fear. And as soon as we start to observe them, they diminish. And that's what's powerful. Then we keep moving forward. And that's where the magic happens. Wow, well, this is the furthest I've ever gotten in the winter. So little snow. So if you're an ultra marathoner, what causes us to hesitate in a race is our thinking. Even the best of races, there's gonna be a low point because they're so long of a race. And if we start listening to our thinking, it's gonna cause us to hesitate. Hey, we're, you're 20 miles into a 100 mile race and you're going through a low point, your brain's gonna keep you safe and you're gonna say, hey, I've got 80 miles to go, I can't keep going like this, but it's gonna turn around. You gotta get past that thinking of what your brain is telling you and to keep moving forward because it's gonna turn around. You're gonna wanna believe your thoughts, but when you're having those bad thoughts or those negative thoughts, stop and listen to yourself and realize those thoughts are just making you worry about maybe what's happened in the past or what could happen in the future. And as soon as you're aware of it, it stops and you live in a moment. Soon as you're aware of your thoughts, everything becomes peaceful. Everything slows down. Everything gets quiet. Everything's peaceful. Think of it. You wouldn't do a 100 mile race without practicing, right? Without those long runs, without the consistent training. So we can't expect our brain to get better without practice. And that practice is simply observing your thoughts and trying to understand why you're having those thoughts. Through this process of understanding, the thoughts stop. One clue that you're believing your thoughts and you're not having awareness of your thoughts is when you resist what's happening. You want things to be different. That causes maybe frustration, that causes fear, but that's your clue that you need to start observing your thoughts and not believing your thoughts. I see it all the time with athletes. They want things to be different. They resist what's happening to them. So remember, it's not important what you think, it's important what you do after you think. And getting back to your why, your purpose, your mission, I have my athletes visualize the runner they wanna be. And as they're visualizing this, think of three traits that are required to be that athlete. And then they use this as their mantra when things get challenging. It helps them divert back to their purpose, their mission, their why. And it also breaks up all the negative thoughts swirling in your head. So I'm headed back down the canyon. See all those footprints? I'm going this way. These footprints are coming that way. Those are my footprints of the past. Similar to your thoughts, all about the past. This might be one of the most important training messages I've ever put on this channel. What if, just what if, all your thoughts aren't true? Can you see how this could help you in your long races, in your training, in signing up for that big race you've always wanted to do? But the most important mistake all athletes make is they think they shouldn't have these thoughts. They shouldn't have negative thoughts. All I'm saying right now is that you do away with your thoughts and that's not true.
You're always going to have these thoughts. Always. All of us. The elites, the pros, the icons, we all have negative thoughts. So the key is not to think you're not going to have the thoughts, but it's to realize when you do and say, oh, there you are. I was expecting you. And just start to listen to your thoughts. Examine them. Ask yourself questions. This is how we mold the clay. So what if, just what if your thoughts aren't true? All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for coming along. Over and out from Gain Creek, over and out from Jackson Hole, Born and Run World. I've gotta put a hard effort the rest of the way, a nice tempo. See ya.